Hello, today I'm going to talk about latest quarterly financial performance of Interglobe Aviations. Let us discuss the key highlights from the result. The company posted a very strong net revenue growth and it came at around 28 point percent on a year on year basis. This is primarily because of the 27 percent growth in its passenger volume. One what is surprising in this quarterly result is the improvement in yield which grew around 3.5 percent. This came after so many uh, so many quarters of decline in yields. Moving on to the profitability of the company, adverse currency movement and rise in the fuel prices continue to put pressure on the company's profitability. Its EBITDA margin witnessed a decline of more than 1000 basis points in this quarter as compared to the same quarter last year and this has impacted the overall profitability of the company which witnessed a decline of 75% in this quarter as compared to the same quarter last year. Now moving on to the stock outlook, there are a couple of factors that we need to look out for. Uh, very high competitive intensity have led to the pricing power erosion of Indian airline carrier and Indigo is no exception out there. Though the company witnessed a growth in its uh, yields, but the yields are yet not at the optimal level given the increase in the fuel prices and the currency movement. Second is the fuel prices. Fuel forms around 40% of the, its net revenue as a cost and it, the company has a high sensitivity towards the fuel prices. Any improvement or any significant improvement or rise in the oil prices impact the profitability negatively. So we need to constantly watch out for the fuel prices going forward. Third is the company continues to have aggressive capacity addition plan. It added around 19 aircraft to its fleet to take its fleet size to around 208. The capacity expansion uh, was around 38% in this quarter as compared to the same quarter last year. Uh, the management sees its capacity growing by around 34% in the final quarter of uh, this fiscal year. Next is the, the company continues to focus on international market. The company got into a code share agreement with the Turkish airline to increase its footprint in the international market. In fact, it has added around 22 international de destinations in this quarter. And finally, the company is currently trading at reasonable valuations after, uh, after a significant decline that it witnessed when the oil prices was rising. We advise investors to accumulate this on a stagger, in a staggered manner for long term portfolio. Overall, the company is in a sweet spot to take the advantage of growing Indian airline industry. What we need to continuously monitor is the oil prices because that hurt the company's profitability. Thank you.